Hi, my name is Amy and welcome to my channel Flippin' with Amy. Here we talk about selling things on eBay. Um, this is a what sold video for January this year, 2021. Um, I sold 15 items this month and I will tell you everything I sold and how much I sold it for. Um, and we'll talk about all the numbers at the end. Okay, so I'll go ahead and get into it. Um, the first thing that sold, sold on the 4th of January, and the item number was 458. That is a wireless thermometer. I'll put the picture here. That went to Thomas. Thank you so much, Thomas, for your purchase. That means, that means an awful lot. Okay, that sold for $18. The buyer paid $6 for shipping and I paid um, $5.45. So that's pretty even and that's wonderful. It's just so wonderful when the shipping matches up that good. Okay, um, the next thing sold on the 5th of January and that was turquoise cross earrings. Oh, this I put on one line as one order, but it was actually four pairs of earrings. And they're all turqu turquoise cross. I'll put pictures here. Um, and they're all different colors. Um, most of the colors, most of them are like the same size, but there might be some other different sizes. I'm not exactly sure. But I'll put the pictures up there. Um, let's see. All of these earrings, it was a, it was a order of four pairs of earrings. They sold for $74.50. $74.50. Those went, what is that number there? Okay, I don't know. Um, these went out to Eileen. Thank you, Eileen, for your order. It means so much. Uh, let's see, the buyer paid $16.60 for shipping. Um, I put $5 back in the box to try to even out the shipping cost. Um, and I paid $4.90 for shipping. Which, there's still a $5 difference, but, you know, I didn't have any way to know that at the time. Or else I would have, you know, done something different, but I didn't. But... You know, I did what I could to try to make it more even. Okay. The next thing that sold, sold on the 8th, the 8th of January. And that was item number 624. And that was Valentine Heart Placemats. And I'll put those here. Those went to Stacy. Thank you so much, Stacy, for your order. It means so much. Um, those sold for $15. Um, I took an offer of $15. I was really wanted to get more for them than that. Um, they were worth more than that. But uh, what's done is done. And it's sold. So there's no going back now. <laughs> so um, the buyer paid. Six fifty for shipping, and I paid ten ninety for shipping, which that's what four dollars difference. Yeah, so I didn't make very much off of those, although um, those were given to me by my mother to sell. I and I, I had no cost of goods. I still did not make very much money on those. And I think that is my lowest, um, yeah, that's my lowest profit of all of my sales. I think there's one more that matches that number, but otherwise. Okay. The next thing that sold, sold on the 10th. Oh, I've had this one for a while. It's so cute. It is a pineapple spoon rest, a white pineapple spoon rest. I'll put it right there. Yeah, I got that. Um, I'm not sure exactly where I got it at this point. Uh, let's see how much it says I paid for it. Yeah, that doesn't tell me anything. But um, I got this about um, maybe 
maybe two years ago, maybe, I don't know, when I first started doing the um, um, reselling again on eBay, uh, when, I, when I started redoing it and doing everything. Um, so I've had it for a while and I finally found someone to get it. Where did it go? Where did my finger go? Okay. That went out to Brittany. Thank you so much, Brittany, for for your purchase. That's that means a lot. This is a this is a really cool piece. This is a really cool piece. So I'm glad that um, you know I found someone that thinks it's as good as I think it is. Well, um, it sold for sixteen dollars, which um, it's okay. You know. <clears throat> I'm not sure if that was original asking price or if that was a deal, but um, that's that was fine with me. And um, it's a piece that is um, like well known. Not not that word. I can't think of the word. But anyway, it's a really it's a really cool piece. It's a spoon rest for the kitchen to put your. Um, spatulas and things on but it, it's just super cool anyway um, you'll see a picture did I tell you I was putting the picture up okay um, so the buyer paid ten dollars for shipping on that I paid eight forty five okay and that was item number two eleven okay the next thing that sold sold on the eleventh and the item number was 607. And that is cream rose shower curtain. Oh, this is beautiful. I'll show you the picture there. Um, that went out to Cindy. Thank you so much, Cindy, for your order. It means so much. Um, those sold for $25.75. Um, which is a great deal because those are so beautiful. Uh, the buyer, the buyer paid eight dollars for shipping, and I paid thirteen sixty for shipping. Okay, those are super beautiful, beautiful, just so much detail. Oh, the shower curtain. Our light just went off, but we do have this ring light still on my face. So, is that okay, or do I need? Do I need more light? Okay, we'll just continue. Um, the next thing sold on the 17th. That was item number 218. Um, that is a massage textbook. Um, I'll put the picture there. That went out to Caitlin. Thank you so much, Caitlin, for your order. That means so much. Um, that went out on the 17th and now it's the 2nd of February. I'm not sure if she's gotten it yet. Um, I really wish I could have sent it faster, but the only option was media mail um, because of the cost. Um, the next the next amount up would have been like $30 for shipping. And I think she paid $6 for shipping. So, where I could have also spent $6 for shipping, um, they didn't have an option for that. Or the girl was in too much of a hurry to try and help me. I don't know which one. But that's how it worked out. Um, that sold for $25. That is a um, educational um, textbook. Uh, the buyer, buyer paid six dollars for shipping. I paid three, three eighty six for shipping. Okay, the next thing sold on the eighteenth, and that was item number three one nine, and that is a cat mug. That's that gray cat mug. I'll show you a picture there. I haven't really had it all that long, although it seems like a long time. It's probably. Well, y'all tell me when I got it probably around six months maybe I don't remember when I got it but it hasn't been that long okay that went out to Jill and that sold for $16 
and the buyer paid ten dollars for shipping and I paid ten ninety for shipping so that's very close we're gonna call that even okay the next thing sold on the 19th and that was item number four five one and that is crystal quartz pendulum and that went out to Morgan. Thank you so much, Morgan, for your order. That means so much. I'll put the picture here. Okay, that sold for twenty-one fifty. Um, the buyer paid four dollars for shipping. I paid four twenty for shipping. That's as about as even as it gets. <laughs> okay. The next item sold on the twentieth. And item number was 572. And that is amulet earrings with amethyst. I'll put the picture there. <laughs> I'm not gonna try to describe it. I'll just put the picture there and then you'll know what it is. Okay, those are so cool, so cool. Um, those went out to Duncan. Thank you so much, Duncan, for your order. That means so much. Those sold for $18. The buyer paid four dollars for shipping, and I paid three ninety five for shipping. Okay, the next thing sold on the twenty first. Oh, this it is a it's a car charm. It is a crystal pendulum car charm. I'll put the picture there. This went to my friend Willie on Likey and um, it was sold through a Likey Live. If y'all don't know what Likey is, you'll have to ask me later, but yeah. Okay, so that went to my friend Willie on Likey and um, it was sold for $25, but uh, I used PayPal. So they kind of dinged me. They took $3. It's crazy. And then eBay. No, not eBay. I don't know. I don't know what. I don't know where my numbers are coming from. But yeah, PayPal took $3 for the transaction. Okay. That did not have an item number. Um. He paid $4 for shipping and I paid $4 for shipping. So that was even. Okay, that, yeah, that was from, that was from, uh, from a Likey Live. Okay, the next item sold on the 25th and the item number is 282. This is a brown serving plate and I'll put it there. Now this is a fancy serving, this is a, this is a fancy serving plate. It is an expensive one. Um, I got this at the bins. It's been a while. And um, you know when I found it, I looked it up and it was it's a fancy one. It's a nice fancy one. But I was kind of hesitant about getting it because of the shipping problem. It was such a big, <laughs> big plate, you know. But um it is sold now and all of that is over with um, let's see that went out to Terry thank you so much Terry for your order it means so much that sold for $20 let's see the buyer paid $14 for shipping and I paid $14.20 that's amazing you know I never know what numbers are gonna come up when I you know when stuff sells and the shipping and but 20 cents difference that's amazing wow because i've paid so much more on a lot of things than the buyer does but wow 20 cents that's amazing and i had to put it in a big box and oh but yeah that's incredible i did so good guessing the shipping price on that that was wonderful okay that was number 282 sold for twenty dollars one that was wonderful that was amazing 
if I had if I had known that I would have you know probably done it with a quickness because that was a that was a good deal all around okay the next thing sold on the 30th and it is green sketcher sandals I'll put a picture there it's a small size it's a it was a size 7 or something um, so it wouldn't fit me in my size 9, 10 feet. So otherwise I would have kept it for myself. But no, you can't. You can't do that. You can't. <laughs> you can't do that. Okay. Those went out to Kelly. Thank you so much, Kelly, for your order. That means so much. Those sold for $12. And that was um, a deal that um, that was... Uh, where are my words? Those those are a deal that was made. Okay. Um, the buyer paid $8 for shipping on that. And I paid $5 for shipping on that. And that was a promoted listing. So, um, so yeah, eBay charged me more than they would have normally. Um, I haven't been mentioning when there was special circumstances on the orders and I'll go back and do that after um, I finish because I, I've missed a few okay that was item number 627 the next thing that sold was sold on the 31st and that is Romeo and Juliet top I'll put a picture there super cute super cute I had like this um, but so beautiful beautiful shirt and that went to Tracy thank you so much Tracy for your order that means so much um, that sold for ten dollars which was also a deal that that was made it went a little back and forth but um, we did um, agree on a ten dollars okay that was item number 434 buyer paid six dollars for shipping and I paid 425 for shipping I did not know I was gonna pay that little or I would have you know charged less for the shipping but the only time they usually charge me four dollars or 450 is when it's in a small small package like really small not that size okay um, okay that's it for that one okay the next thing sold on the 31st and it is a red dress barn jacket I'll put the picture there that went out to Shelly thank you so much Shelly for your order that means so much that sold for $18 um, which was also a deal um, I think I had $22.50 on it and I got a I got a watcher and I put 20 or something and then uh, I got an offer for 16 and then I put 18 so that's I might not be exactly 100% correct with that but that's what happened okay that was item number 455 and the buyer paid $8 for shipping and what just happened um, I paid 560 for shipping Okay, the next thing um, sold on the 1st of February, I am including this item in January sales because I sent it to the post office, um, well on the 1st, but it was together with four items. So it's on the shipping receipt with the same, the same shipping receipt as the last few items. So I included that in January sales. Um, Y'all might say, oh, that's crazy. You should put it in February sales. But it's going to be easier that way um, because it's all on it's all on one receipt and it's all, all together. So that's why. Um, it is a cream and pastel baby blanket. Super super beautiful put the picture there 
a lot of work went into this a lot of work it's beautiful um, it's a little bit bigger than like a toddler bed it's um, well anyway you'll see the picture there um, this went out to Dilla thank you Dilla for your purchase that means so much that went out for $24.50, which was original asking price. Um, the item number was 468 on that, although on the listing I goofed up and it said 486. The real item number was 468. Um, it, it was correct everywhere except in the listing. Um, my eye, like when I'm seeing small stuff, it's hard, but. Um, it was the item number was correct everywhere except for the listing and the listing it was wrong but that listing is gone now so the item number is 468 <laughs> I don't know okay um, the buyer paid $10 shipping on that and I paid $12.75 for shipping on that okay so now I will go back and tell you which items had circumstances. Um, the amulet earrings with the amethyst, um, that was an international sale. Okay. The crystal, no, we are talking about that. Okay. The serving plate, the big brown serving plate was a promoted listing and the green sandals were promoted listing. Okay, that's it, that's not much. Okay, so that was 15 items in total. That was seven jewelry items, three promoted listings, and one international sale. Sometimes there's more, sometimes less, but that's how all this breaks down. Um, my, you could sit and add up all the cells if you wanted to, but I can, I mean, it's, it'd be easy for you to find out. So my whole sales for the month was $328.75. Now, you know, um, eBay gets a third for the fees and everything else. So... Don't think I'm keeping $300 because that's not what this is. That's not what happened. And, um, yeah, so I'm waiting for that money from eBay so I can pay. Okay, so, um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the, um, jewelry items I have decided to go and redo all of um, the the jewelry boxes that are back here because as I'm making jewelry I have no more space well I could empty out some other boxes but I'd have to go through all of my paperwork and reassign new locations for about 40 ties that I have in those boxes so I've started um, consolidating and putting things in um, in the boxes so that the box is full um, starting with box one and um, I've already redone about six earrings and I'm gonna redo all of the ones that need to be redone and um, I'll be making videos to show you um, the new product once I get an entire box full I'm going to have about 100 items, well not 100 items because a lot of items have sold in the first 100, but I'm going to have items up to 100 in box one. Um, and I've got about four more earrings to redo. Um, and then we will start making videos about what is in box one. Because I'm sure y'all have like no idea what I sell and a lot of the things are going to be different. They're going to be different now. I think I do have videos on here up to what's in box 8. But um, box 14 is full. So we will be redoing all of that and you'll see that. We will also be doing 
um, lives to show you those items. Um, if there are any questions, leave them down there in the box. And I think that's about it for this video. Like, subscribe, comment, share, and we'll see you in the next one.